so it's Jenna, the minimalist doula. Um, and I was having a think about my next vlog and what I came up with was something I get asked quite a lot um, with my birth clients. And it's how will I know when it's labour? And I think this is a really interesting one because I think we think of labour as um, kind of starting, you know, in those few hours or how many ever hours before baby's born um, but I talked to a lovely midwife um, on my yoga teacher training a while ago and she kind of reframed the concept for me um, she's Mother Ali on Facebook and she talked about labour as a matter of weeks and not as in you're having surges or contractions for weeks but as in your body is preparing you for a really long time it's getting the adrenaline out of your system, it's building the oxytocin to help the contractions get started, baby's developing, getting ready, and it's kind of, you know, pregnancy all, almost merges into, you know, that final trimester, and then the last few weeks, lots of things are happening in your body um, that could be considered part of labour. Um, you know, some women have, like, loose bowels for a week, maybe two, um, you know, there's, you know, you might get more discharge and there's, there's like lots of signs that baby's having ideas. There's Natalie Meddings from Positive Birth Story. Um, tell me a good birth story, sorry, it would say. She talks about baby having ideas rather than the first stage of labour. Um, so I think that idea that when do we know it's labour? And I always say, you know when you know. And you really do because your body takes you to a new place and it's very clear that you're in labour. And all those early signs, even the early days of, or hours of contractions, you know, you don't know if that is going to go into full labour. And you're only classed as being in labour, really, in the hospital sense, when you're established. And established is around four to five centimetres. So you're talking about all that early labouring you could be doing, you know, at home, not really knowing what's going on necessarily for a little while. Um, I think it depends how much attention you give it. And what oxytocin loves, the hormone of labour and love, is to be ignored, basically. It's a shy hormone. And if you pay it a lot of attention, it, it gets shy and it might go away. So if you have those early labours that are kind of stopping and starting, maybe they're just being watched a little bit too closely. You know, the idea, you know, kind of a watch pot never boils. It's that kind of thing. Um, and I think the idea of when will you know it's labour, I think you know when you know because you're well on your way. Um, and all those early signs, really, even if you think, oh yeah, I think this is it, I think this is a surge, I think this is a contraction, this could be it. The best thing you can do is just get on as normal. And then if it is labour, it will tip over into labour and it will go into established labour. And then you're kind of on that labour train and nothing is getting off that labour train. Um, but it's kind of coping with and pacing yourself in that early stage. And if you can ignore it and if it doesn't need all your attention and you can deal with surges here and there and you can still get on with things or rest or just not kind of you know I guess just not pay it too much attention then hopefully that baby having ideas will turn into labor and you will know when you know but the best thing you can do from a kind of a an efficient labor is to not know I suppose um, you know, if you're just going about your business and then you think, oh, it could be, it couldn't be, it could be, it couldn't be, and you get further on and further on and further on, you're going to have more reserves and more resources. So when it does really kick in, when it gets very established and you need to pay attention and you need to concentrate and you're going deep within, you will be able to because you have been ignoring it for so long that your reserves are there, your tools are there, you've still got all that stuff to work on to get you to baby. Um, so yeah, I hope that's help helpful and I'll see you soon. Thanks, bye.